So now we are going to discuss about Ganesium. Ganesium is the last and fourth wall of the flower. In the flower, four walls are there. First one is calyx, second is corolla, third is andricium, fourth one is uh, Ganesium. It is the fourth and last wall of the flower. Here, Ganesium is uh, composed of one or more carpels. Sometimes only one carpel is present, sometimes uh, more carpels are also present. Here, depending on the species, uh, the number of carpels is depending. Here, Ganesium is a female reproductive organ. It is a female reproductive organ. A Ganesium is composed of one or more carpels. Here, when more carpels are present, sometimes they are fused, sometimes they are free also. It is composed of one or more carpels. Here, only one carpel is present. It is called as monocarpellate. Monocarpellate. Ganesium monocarpellate ovary also. And sometimes a uh, number of carpels are also present. So, a more than one carpel, sometimes two carpels, a many carpels are also present. If two carpels are present, it is called as a bicarpellate. And uh, many carpels, it is a, a polycarpellate or multicarpellate. In the flower, the last wall is Ganesium. Ganesium is uh, here, it is present on the thalamus. It is a pedicel. On pedicel, yeah, the swollen, swollen body is called as uh, thalamus. On the thalamus, uh, the innermost wall is called as uh, gynesium. It is a gynesium. This part is gynesium. So, the gynesium is composed of one or more carpels. If one carpel is present, it is called as monocarpellate. Sometimes, a uh, number of carpels are also present. So, oh, here the carpels are sometimes uh, they are fused or free. When the carpels are free, it is called as uh, apocarpus ovary, apocarpus gynesium. Sometimes uh, the carpels are fused. So, it is called as syncarpus ovary or syncarpus gynesium. Here it is the gynesium. In the gynesium, sometimes the carpels are free. Carpels are free. This condition is called as apocarpus condition. Apocarpus condition. Here, this condition is observed in the a lotus and a mycelia, anona squamosa, custard apple. So, in these flowers, uh, apocarpus condition is observed. Rose, lotus, mycelia. And anona squamosa. So, anona squamosa is a, a custard apple plant. Here, apocarpus condition is observed in these plants. Here, syncarpus condition. Syncarpus condition means uh, here the carpels are fused. Here, carpel, when the carpels are fused, this condition is called as Syncarpus.
most of the flowers are having this type of uh, gynecium or ovary syncarpus condition is observed in the tomato mustard brinjal in all these plants syncarpus condition is present here apocarpus condition apocarpus condition and the thalamus here number of carpels are present so it is one carpel it is also one carpel so number of carpels are present but they are not uh, fused they are free also so each and every each and every ovary develops into one small fruitlet so in this type of apocarpus condition here the after fertilization here each and every ovary develops into small fruitlet but in the syncarpus condition in the syncarpus condition here also in the thalamus number of carpels are present but uh, all these are fused here it is one carpel it is also one carpel so number of carpels but all they are fused to form a single ovary and uh, air style and stigma so externally that appears like a only one carpel so it is apocarpus condition syncarpus condition apocarpus condition is observed in these plants syncarpus is observed in the tomato and mustard plants and so many plants are showing this type of uh, syncarpus condition so here after fertilization this type of ovaries uh, here small fruitlets are formed the small fruitlets uh, are present on the thalamus they are aggregated and when the syncarpus condition all the ovaries all the ovaries are fused to form here to form a a single fruit so here all the ovaries develop into all the ovaries develop into a single fruit so gynecium is the a female reproductive organ and it is composed of a number of carpels sometimes only single carpel is present and sometimes uh, yeah, they are free uh, sometimes they are fused apocarpus condition and syncarpus condition in the gynecium mainly three parts are present the three parts are ovary second one is style third one is stigma so in the gynecium the basal swollen part is called as here ovary that is ovary so this part is called as ovary the basal swollen part of the gynecium is called as ovary the ovary is bearing the here ovules sometimes only one ovule is present sometimes a number of ovules are also present so here the ovary contains or it is uh, having some ovules one or more ovules are present inside so inside the on the placenta a number of ovules are arranged and here in the ovary here the ovary generally it uh, after fertilization that ovary develops into a fruit or fruit wall ovary develops into fruit wall here the ovary is present in only uh, in angiosperms only ovary contains here ovary is present in only angiosperms in gymnosperms uh, the ovules are naked here the ovules are not covered by ovary ovules are naked here in angiosperms this type of uh, ovary is present and uh, ovules are embedded in the ovary so ovary is present in only angiosperms not in gymnosperms ovary is covering the ovules next uh, here the long tube like structure is called as this style the style is a tube like long structure and it is connecting the here ovary and with the stigma the tip of the gynecium is called as stigma so style is a tube like structure it is connecting the basal ovary and uh, uh, upper stigma part so when after uh, pollination the pollen grain develops into pollen tube and the pollen tube is uh, uh, entering through the style 
So, here style is it is connecting the stigma and ovary. So, it is the middle part. Next one is a stigma. Stigma is a here upper part of the gynecium and it is receiving the pollen grains. After pollination, here number of pollen grains are present on the stigma. So, they are developing into pollen tube. So, here each and every pollen grain develops into or it is producing small a pollen tube. So, the pollen tube is penetrating through the style and reaching the ovary. So, here the stigma is receiving the pollen grains. It is the receptive part, upper part. So, these are the three parts ovary, style, stigma. Ovary is the basal swollen part bearing the number of ovules. Sometimes only one ovule is present and it is covering the ovules. Style is the long elongated tube like structure connecting the stigma and ovary. And uh, stigma is a receptive part of uh, pollen grains. Uh, so, in the pollination, after pollination, here it is receiving the pollen grains. So, it is helping in the germination of the pollen grains. So, here it is a gynecium. So, gynecium is a, so in gymnosperms, if we compare, gynecium is equal to megasporophyll. Here, gynecium is composed of carpels. So, carpel is a, it is also called as pistil. So, each and every carpel is equal to megasporophyll. So, carpel it is also called as pistil and also it is equal to megasporophyll of gymnosperms. So, gynecium is female reproductive organ innermost and last fourth whorl of the flower it is having a three parts ovary style stigma it is having here one or more carpels sometimes they are free sometimes they are fused if they are free that is called as apocarpus condition if they are free syncarpus condition so it is about uh, gynecium